if you are sending Studio One files from one person to another, I think it's very important to know how to do so. I had several clients so far where I had to show them how to send me a file in regards to Studio One. And Logic Pro is a little bit different. If, you, if I have any Logic Pros out there, any Logic Pro users out there, you know that when you are dealing with a project, everything is automatically saved within that folder, right? In Studio One is a little bit different. You have to actually set it up that way. Now, if you say, for instance, this session we're looking at it right in front of us right here, I have some things going on. I got machine on one channel. I have audio on the next channel. I have, um, uh, yeah, wave, whatever. So if you're pulling wave from any other file, say, for instance, you, you are pulling mp3 files from over here you pull one from right here but the folder this is the folder we're working off on this is elop machine that's the, the title of the song and the the title of the song is elop machine all right but say for instance you know you pulling things off from other other areas in your finder what's going to happen is everything you know when you pull up the session next time you close this out you pull it up everything will appear all right however you're still streaming audio from a whole different folder in, in terms of where wherever you pull them from and, and drop them into the session so what you have to do is you have to go to the top and you need to select on song and then say copy external files when you say copy external files the external files will then save in the folder that you are working from. All right. So in this case, I've already did all of this. So I'm not going to you know, perform any of these tasks, but bounce my bass synth, my percussion and synth master. These are all the things that I've bounced out as waves. And these are the things that reflect those here. These are the three channels, the, the three different wave files. And also they're in my pool. So, even in my pool, I can go and show in Finder and it, 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 it'll point me exactly where this stuff lives in my hard drive, all right? So I have that there, but if you don't do that there, um, you know, the files that lives in here will be in different folders, all right? So to make things much simpler for you and I, this is what I did. I did something in, you know, in the, the preference area and all I did was I went to Studio One, all right? Click on Studio One right next to File, click on Preference. You're going to, you know, this little box is going to pop up. Okay, the next thing you want to click on is Locations, all right? And then make sure you're on the tab where it says User Data. Now, this is where you can set up things, User Data, Locations, Song Projects. You can set up a folder where everything automatically goes to. You know, I just set it for something within my external hard drive. But when I'm starting a new session, I always pick a, a different location, you know, just depending on who project I'm working on and what type of song, whatever. I have folders. I try to be organized. But anyway, um, down here is where you can adjust the auto save document. So this is good for, you know. Um, when you're working in something, working in the project, and um, you want to ensure that you do not lose any files in case of a failure somewhere, your, your computer crash or um, it freezes or whatever case may be, you can set this. I have it for three minutes. At first, I had it for one minute. And that was annoying. It's, you know, every, every minute is trying to save something. Uh, by default, I believe it's five minutes, but I wanted to do something sooner than then. You know what I mean? Because you just think any time from uh, one minute to five minutes, probably at the fourth minute and 30 seconds, something crazy just happens. And I wanted to avoid that from happening. So I got it down to three minutes. Uh, but anyway, what you want to make sure you click on is ask to copy external files when saving song. This right here will ensure that everything is being done on the back end automatically without you having to go up to file like I showed you, you know. So if this is checked right before you end the session, say you're working, you, you added, you know, different things from different, you know, files from different locations in here. 
And right before you close the session, it will ask you if you want to save the external files within this file. And that's when you will say yes. And now everything is in the file because what will end up happening is if you send this folder without this stuff in here, I will get a, uh, a, a error message saying missing files, blah, blah, blah. And pretty much those files live on your hard drive and not mine. So when you're sending me anything, you definitely want to make sure that everything is in this uh, perspective place, doing it like I showed you, and then just take the actual folder itself, right click on it, compress it you know and then send that to me and then you can relabel the, the compressed file however you want to whatever and then you can save that and send i use i use um we that's that's you know something typical i use you can it, it's it's free you know you can you can transfer files up to two gigabytes all right and it works for me all right so i hope that that helps you know some of you guys that's that's, that's looking for uh, a easy way to transfer files using Studio One. All right, and some of you guys may have experienced those error messages. That's that's why, because when you pull and streaming audio from different locations in your your um, your hard drive, they do not come. You know, it's not being saved inside of that folder by itself. You have to actually give it a command. You know what I mean? And I think it's pretty dope. Like how everything works is cool, you know. But anyway, ho hope you learned something. If you have any questions, as always, you know, type your questions in at the bottom of the video. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. I've been doing pretty good with getting getting back with people, you know, questions that they may have. Uh, sometimes there's a delay depending on my work, my workload. But, uh, you know, I'm a nice guy. <laughs> All right, remember, music is art. You're the artist. Paint your picture.